right, all right. What's up, gang? How you guys doing this morning? It is April 15th, and I am here to tell you that today is a beautiful day. Got the sun coming in today through the window. I'm feeling great. Morning routine is done. And uh, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a little quick, little inspiration, little golden nugget. I was doing some reading this morning before I uh, came on to talk to you guys. And today I want to talk to you about a quote, a quote that I read and I wanted to expound on it a little bit. And the quote is from um, Alfred Lord Tennyson. And it's uh, knowledge comes, but wisdom lingers. Okay. Now I want you guys to hear that one more time. Knowledge comes, but wisdom lingers. And what does he mean by that? He means that you can learn things and gain knowledge, but wisdom over time lingers. It, it, it stays with you. And, um, you know, I am going to be talking to you guys maybe later on about um, finding your true self, right? Right. Uh, digging deep inside of you, getting rid of all of those uh, false beliefs that you, that you have about yourself, those negative feelings that you have about yourself. And I, I'm trying to wipe all that clean from you guys' slate so you can move forward and have the life that you want. And uh, in doing that, I just want to talk about a couple of things that that add to this quote that I just read. And um, it's that uh, any... Any effort that you put toward um, claiming your true self is not a lost effort. So no sincere effort towards self-understanding is ever lost. Any effort you put toward trying to understand yourself, trying to be a better person, trying to learn how you operate, how you move, how you do business, all of those efforts that you put toward yourself, you never lose them. Those are all good efforts. And so, you guys, as you learn, as you grow, do not ever get disappointed. I want you guys to truly believe in yourself and truly continue to push forward, even though the progress may seem small. It is a huge leaps and bounds inside your subconscious mind. So, your, your conscious mind may be thinking, oh, man, I'm not getting anywhere. Trust me. You're getting, you're getting somewhere. So continue doing what you're doing, working on yourself, growing and understanding. And uh, another thing, listen, I want to talk about is the truth. Once you find your true self, it's, it's almost as similar to um, maybe, I don't know, finding that Santa Claus is not real. I, I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings if you believe that Santa Claus is real, but... Um, when you found out Santa Claus wasn't real, right? How did you feel, right? You probably were hurt as a child, but you couldn't, when Christmas came around again, you didn't have the same excitement, the same enthusiasm because you knew that Santa Claus wasn't real, that it was your parents, right? See, once glimpsed, right? A new truth can never be lost. Once you see the truth in something, it is what it is. You you know the truth. You can't go backwards from the truth. The truth is always going to move you forward. So as you guys grow, as you guys learn, as you guys become better people and learn more truth about yourself, you have no choice but to move forward. You can't go back from that. All right. And the only reason that people, you know, go back to old habits and things that they've done before is because of the false self. They allow the false self to dominate, okay, their ongoing current thoughts in their life. So um, that's just a little something I read today. I wanted to kind of expound on it a little bit. Hopefully you guys can grow from it. Hopefully it helps you. Um, tonight, I'm going to give a full training session, probably on the true self and the false self. I'm doing some reading today, so I have some notes and uh, I'm gonna help you guys to grow, and you guys have a great day, man. Let's just enjoy it. Let's be progressive as possible. 
and continue during this crazy pandemic shut-in uh, times to learn, grow, and teach. All right, I'll talk to you later.